Now let's explore further into this musical odyssey. You may have noticed that I'm not wearing the tuxedo anymore, but I am now in fact wearing a black and brown flannel shirt. Yes, I'm wearing a black and brown flannel shirt. Now I'm doing this to prove a point. Um, we talked before that the violinist wears a tuxedo, plays an expensive instrument, plays at uh, expensive ritzy venues such as Carnegie Hall and plays classical music, sophisticated music on the violin. And the fiddle player is supposed to play uh, a less expensive instrument in a flannel shirt. Now, I'm going to test this theory. I still have the same two instruments right here. Nothing tricky. I'm going to play them for you again. I'll start with this one. Bach is your joy, Mrs. Aaron. seconds to guess. One, two, three. That's, I won't play the Jeopardy music for you. That's too cliche. Um, okay. Have you guessed which one is the more expensive instrument? Me! Trick me! 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 Well, if you guessed this one, you guessed right. You guessed correctly. You see, this instrument, um, my mother bought this for me as a graduation present from college. It is a um, um, Franz Sommner violin, uh, made about 1984. We got it from the Brops Violin Shop in Alexandria, Virginia, for a little more than $2,000. And this instrument right here is um, actually not a violin at all. It's really a viola. Um, it's a small viola about the size of a violin, mm -hmm. and it's strung like a violin. I strung it up, G, G, D, A, E, and, uh, 
and I've played this in coffee shops and uh, you know fiddle jams and things like that, and nobody can tell the difference. Um, only an experienced dealer could probably tell the difference, um, or somebody that's really experienced with different types of instruments. Um, now, what was the, what's the point I'm trying to make? The point I'm trying to make is it doesn't really matter what instrument you use, or how you dress, or the way you hold it, or what you play. Um, now, you could probably use an expensive Stradivarius at a bluegrass jam, but, um, and you'd sound good, and you look good, but um, would it be practical? Would you want to? You know, that's like delivering pizza with a Ferrari, you know. You'd, you'd look good, and you'd get it there really fast. You might get a ticket on the way, but would it make the pizza taste any better? I don't know. So, I, um, and here I have demonstrated that you can play different types of music on different types of instruments, and you can wear different types of clothes. So, now you're probably asking yourself, um, what's, okay, Mike, what's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? Okay, now I'm going to tell you. So the difference between a violin and a fiddle is nobody cares if you spill your drink on a fiddle. Oh, it's just a joke. It's a joke. Um, you see, uh, the violin, or the viola, well, the viola is strong, different. Oh, let me use the violin. This is the violin. The violin is tuned in, in, in fifths. One, two, three, four, five. fiddle is tuned while you're drinking a fifth. No. It's a joke. It's a joke. See, the violin has four strings, really. One, G, D, A, E. And the fiddle has four strings. It's a joke. It's a joke. Okay. See, it really doesn't matter. I'm just trying to make a point here. Now, this is the viola strung like a violin. between a violin and a fiddle. Okay, I'm going to be serious now. The difference between a violin and a fiddle is, and you heard it here first, the difference between a violin and a fiddle is the violin sings. Let me demonstrate. Like so. was Omino Bemino Caro by Puccini. Um, and that was played with a singing tone on a viola strung like a violin. But to make the point, see the violin sings, you know, like, like I said, um, violinists are, are obsessed with um, vibrato and uh, tone and uh, intonation and technique and posture. So, um, if, that's a, if a violin sings, then, well, what does a fiddle do? Well, a fiddle, a fiddle talks. Let me explain. See, I just demonstrated how a violin can sing. Um, it sings with vibrato and uh, technique, and it's the way, well, maybe the way you play, yeah. But uh, a fiddle, uh, you use a fiddle for, you play fiddle music on a fiddle, but you make it talk with, with your fingers, no, <laughs> I'm serious. You make it talk with uh, rhythm and inventive ornamentation. Like, it's, uh, let's play a popular fiddle tune, say like the Ashokan Farewell by Jay Unger. A violinist might play it like this. Shifted there a little bit. Um, 
violinists like to shift and use that second position a lot. Whereas uh, fiddle players, they, they like to stay down here in the first position so they can, you know, do the shuffles like. <laughs> So, so how, uh, a, fiddle, a fiddle player would probably play the uh, Shokin Farewell with lots of rhythm and inventive creative ornamentation, kind of, kind of like this. That is the difference between a violin and a fiddle.